welcome to day six. Did we do this? Did we do this? It's number six of advent calendar season here on this Harry Potter, this here Harry Potter channel. Um, and if you can't tell, probably by the thumbnail, but also by this situation right here, we got us our lion um, headdress. This is not like a crazy super detailed one. It's the one from Lit Joy, I do believe, um, some time ago in a galaxy not far away. I think it's on their website. I'll link it down below. And what I have only shown off once in a short is this here sweater. Do you see this L on here? Look at this L. This is one of the softest sweaters I think I've ever worn. And it is from the Common Room Shop. Um, I think they still carry it. I think it's one of their regulars that they carry because I've been wanting it for a while. So, I mean, any guesses at all on what we're unboxing here? I mean, look at this lion headdress. Look at this uh, Luna. Look at this L. We are unboxing the Cine Replicas Luna Lovegood Advent Calendar. And let's see, the price, the, the price on this one is $38.50. So I'm excited to see. I think out of all of the Cine replicas that we have unboxed, will unbox, um, just looking at this and the character herself is the one that was the most interesting to me by far. If you don't know, Luna is my um, spirit animal in the Harry Potter world, okay? She's my Patronus. So I'm excited to unbox, but before we do, if you're new here and you want to be a part of a community that believes weird is wonderful, weird is wonderful, and magic is real, then hit that subscribe button right there and be notified every time there is a new weird and wonderful and magical video. Okay, let's see what um, lunaness we got up to today. As per usual, here are some replicas. Actually, no, let's take a quick little glancy poo on what we got and what we might get in here. We've got her Patronus, the rabbit right there. We've got the lion um, headdress. We've got, of course, the Ravenclaw um, and the Diandom, the Ravenclaw scarf. We've got some dirigible plum earrings. Do we actually get earrings? I wouldn't mind them. I don't have any yet. We've got the quibbler. We do have some quibbler things that we have in box during this, or, well, during the previous season, the, the Halloween season. We've got her Spectra Specs. So I'm excited. What do we, oh, and on the side here, we have a bookmark. So here is the um, whole bookmark. So basically you can cut it out of the side. What does it say there? The things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. And there's Miss Luna, look at that cutie pie. So I like that we get to use the whole thing. And then of course, we have the opportunity to win the Nimbus 2000 Junior, which if you don't know by Cine Replicas is their newest broom and it's a little junior broom. I mean, look at her. She looks like a little girl, maybe a, a little Luna. So maybe she'll be getting us uh, a Nimbus 2000 Junior. Let's find out. Let's start with number one, which they do not put in any sort of order. All right, number one is smack in the middle. I feel a little wrong, just like cutting out her face. And as per the last one, these things were not perforated well. All righty, what did we get in the here? Okay. Punch a little hole. Okay, I think it's like the first one we did where we have got, so I suppose maybe if you get more of these, um, more are in them as far as admin calendars. It is an ornament. It is one of the wooden ornaments. And I think it says exceptionally ordinary. Yes, it does. With her spectra specs. And it looks like a little bulb. It's got a little hangy bit. Um, I mean, the last one was like, eh, it's all right. It's not something I would use, but at least it's wood and it's quality in that sense. Okay, where is number two? Downs the hair on the end of her curls right there. What could be in your hair, my dear? Let's see what number two is. What are we? Oh, it's blue. I see the word lost. It's matching my sweater right now. What are we opening? Is it like the last one where we got a little kind of knapsack situation? We do, and it's a blue. What do we say here? Lost one earring with, what does that say? I don't know. Pair of stripy socks. That is something Luna would wear. Um, something school coat, okay, purple quill. Pair of school shoes, there we go. Bubble Boy Booster book, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. That's very fitting considering Luna's future. Um, another book, Easy Spells to Fool Muggles. <laughs> Um, bottom, bottle, sorry, bottle of something solving ink. 
Please return to Luna Lovegood by the end of term. I mean, that's different. I like that it's different. We know she lose things, but we also know they have a way of finding themselves back. Okay, so we've got ourselves a little knapsack and an ornament. Number three is up here where it says Luna. What is number three? We don't know. Oh, I think I know what this is. At least based on the last one, we have got ourselves a little coaster. And on that coaster is Miss Luna herself. It's like a cheapy version of her, but it has some nice little mistletoe-y things around the edge. I would say so far these coasters are not like totally my jam. Uh, oh, it's got her little rabbit. But out of this one and the last one, I definitely prefer this one. I think, if I'm remembering. Yeah, I think so. It's Luna, come on. Number four. Oh, I didn't even say what's supposed to be in here. Stationery, jewelry, home decoration, toys, small accessories, and more supplies. So could it be possible there's a piece of jewelry in here? All right, so what do we got in here? Oh, maybe I'm right. Oh, not quite jewelry, but, oh wait, no, it is. Actually it is, just kidding. I think it's jewelry. I mean, you know, sometimes it, when there's something that like ladies would wear, then it makes it um, not as appealing to men, but this is a Luna Lovegood box, so come on now. Um, we have got some, I believe these should be, dirigible plum earrings. Look at those cuties. They got like a gold backing. They're obviously not like exactly like Luna's. If you remember Luna's, if I'm remembering Luna's right, they're um, like little, made of little beads and they're a little bit bigger, but this is their own take on the dirigible plum earrings. So here is the back. So we do have some jewelry already. There we go. What are we doing now? Where is number five? Here it is, right in her hair. Here we go. I think I know what we might have got, but what is it specifically? Oh, we have got ourselves a little stamp. Let me turn it right side up with Miss Luna and her lion headdress. Let's stamp it right now. Ooh, this one is purple. I pressed that pretty hard and it didn't smudge um, much. So here is Miss Luna stamped with her little lion headdress. I would definitely love a stamp that's like super detailed, but this is a really cute option. Again, with stamps, I would probably use them on packages, um, on cards, all sorts of things. Number six is on the top, and it's a long one. Okay, let's see what's inside. Why am I, let's just look at it. Whoa, hey yo, I'm just losing the whole box here. I feel like based on the last one, I know I'm gonna guess this is a ruler. We're allowed to guess. And it does seem to be, if I can get the daggone thing out of here. Well, that is cute. Like, I don't know how much I have a need for a really small ruler, um, but these advent calendars are more geared towards kids, so it would be really suitable size, but I might just hang on to it anyway, because it's too cute. Look at this little Luna over here. I like the very light colored background and the little stars. And is that the saying that we had on the outside? Yeah, one of her infamous quotes, the things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. How cute is that one? And then the back is just like a, Plain back. We are on to seven. Where's seven? Seven's the candles. All right, what have we got in here? Ooh, definitely Luna. Like, it's looking like an easel or something. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what this is. What is, wait, wait, I think she opens up. Hold on, let me show you the front. Here's the front. Do we open? Wait, is it maybe a mirror? Oh, it is. Look at that. Look, it's you guys, right in there. You're right in there. We've got a little mirror, a little Luna mirror. That's cute, very lightweight. Um, probably one I won't be able to easily break, so I appreciate that. Um, Cause I break things all the time. Number eight at the top here on another dirigible plum. All right, what is eight? It's already open. Oh, I think I know what this is. Whew. This should be, let me clear a space real quick. A, a mini puzzle. But, what does it look like? All right, let me see if I could show you this cutie pie. And tell me if this reminds you of anything. I'll mention it afterwards. We've got Miss Luna Lovegood. And is the festival over here or here? I can't tell. Oh, lordy. Um, it's over on the right, isn't it? Yeah, and then we've got 
the hair on the other side, but this is just reminding me of the Yumi artwork that was done on, well, on the Yumi line, on the Harry Potter New York store, um, online, or just in the store, the, one of the collections that they did. And I did really like that art style. I didn't really find it too much that tickled my fancy, but this is really cute. I will say, similar to the last puzzle, the pieces are very thin, um, but at least they fit together well. I mean, this one fit. <laughs> it's stuck on there. We've got nine right on her name right there. No, sorry, right on the hap um, happy holiday. What is nine? What's this? I feel like I say that every time. We've got ourselves some post-it notes. Let me take it in real quick. We got this cute little chibi looking, um, let me get the bending action going on here. This cute little chibi looking um, Luna over in the corner. We have her Patronus up here and it says Expecto Patronum. And we got a nice workable space here um, because these are sticky notes. So we can write on them their notes and have enough space, but it still be a smaller one. So we're not really sending any um, extensive messages. We gotta keep the chatty cathiness down, which is hard for me. Uh, okay, where was that? That was nine, we are on to 10. 10 is up here. What's in this one? Oh, it's a pin. I think I know what this pin is, just looking at the uh, this side of it right here. What do we got? Other way. Oh, they're silver. They are silver spectra specs, but it's letting the um, colors in the glasses pop a bit more. So at least it's kind of different. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's a, you know what I would have wanted is for the spectra specs themselves. So it's really smooth. It is cute. Don't get me wrong. I would have wanted texture on the spectra specs. Like it could still be silver. No problem. 11. We are down at her Patronus. What do we got in here? Is this a, oh yes. This is also similar. So a lot of the items, at least between this one and the last one, are similar as far as like the kind of item, but a different um, design. So we have got ourselves a little Luna eraser. So she's got her her Patronus. She's doing a little expecto Patronum. She's in her Ravenclaw um, scarf and robe and looking cute. And here's the whole eraser. I enjoy an eraser. I enjoy a memo pad. Um, so down with that. Let's find number 12 up here. I can tell it's washi tape and I love washi tape, but I really want to like the design. So, I mean, it's Luna. I am hoping I'm loving it. What did we got? I can't tell from over here. You guys, what do we got? We've got, well, we got Luna things. Wait, what is that? We got flying keys, polyjuice potion. That's not really Luna specific. They're just random things. The only thing that's Luna the time turner, the only thing that's Luna are her spectra specs. I feel like, while this is cute and I'll use it, um, it's not very Luna-esque. All they did was throw the spectra specs on there. So I do enjoy washi tape and the color of the green background will work for Christmas, but um, I think we could have put more Luna in there. Okay, just saying, 13, down here. All right, the corner of her quibbler right here. Oh wait, I'm seeing something quibblerish. We have got ourselves a quibbler keychain. So here's the keychain up here. It's similar to the last one. It's got that kind of rubberiness and just a white background. And we got the quibbler. I mean, these keychains are, you know, very cheap. Um, but I feel like for a little kid, they would love that. 14 comes after 13. 14, is she a long one? She's a medium sized length one right here. What, what are you? This, I believe is a Luna highlighter. So here is a little mini highlighter. So here's Luna on the bottom and her Spectra Specs at the top. It is like, it is more effort for sure than the first one we did where it was just like a chibi Hedwig on the bottom. What color, blue or pink? Pink. I do like the contrast. Um, I'm trying to remember what the last color was. I wonder if we're getting different colors and we have ourselves maybe one day a whole set. Okay, he's reminding me that it's blue. So we now have blue and pink. Where is number 15? Oh, now that's a long one. Over here, you can't even see. I'm guessing a pen. I mean, at that length, I'm gonna guess a pen, but 
You never know. Oh, something lengthy. I'm gonna show you, and then he's probably gonna tell me what this is. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not sorting it out mentally. It looks like a magnet. It's a magnet. Okay, we've got ourselves the Luna Lovegood wand as a magnet. So here's the whole thing. It is the shape of her wand, that um, like kind of tulip at the end. And then um, I guess this is almost like the name tags that we can get sometimes on the um, wands, like with Noble Collection. I view it kind of like that, but that is also a magnet. 16, right? Oh, that's a pretty good size one in her hair. It is, it looks like Luna herself. Uh, like a, again, like a chibi version of Luna. And I'm thinking this is a patch, a sewn patch as they put it last time. A oh, woven, I'm sorry, a woven patch. That is pretty cute. You know, if you're fine with chibi, and I do have some chibi stuff, but even, even if you're not, I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. I don't know if I'd keep it, but um, yeah, we got ourselves a patch. She's got her glasses on and her Ravenclaw blue showing. Miss Luna Lovegood herself. Number 17, right here. Um, I think I know what this is. I do believe this is the measuring tape. Yeah, look at that. And then we've got Luna's Patronus measuring tape. So that's a really good like pocketable, really matches. It looks like it could be a button or something. Um, bring it along with you situation. 18. 18's up here. What are these things called? Like post-it tags or something like that? What are they called? Memo tabs. We've got us some memo tabs. Ooh, what do we have on here? So if you remember in the first Cine Replicas advent calendar we did, we got some of these little um, tabs and they were cute, but I felt like the direction that they put the things didn't really work for me. So let me show you. Um, oh no, wait, this isn't actually working for me. <laughs> I was gonna say this works for me better because here's how I'm, I'm pretty sure they work. I've never used these things, but let me show you first. We've got the quibbler, we have a thestral, we have the spectra specs and the diadem. So how these could work, because um, I never took like extensive super organized notes like I should have, is you would, can we get it on here? You would stick that to the end and kind of point it to where you want to be reminded. There are some where they like stick outside the book, um, but in that sense, it works perfectly fine. So definitely very Luna-esque. I feel like the diadem is just like, okay, she's a Ravenclaw. You know, maybe the socks or something would be cute or the shoes would have been cute. But the diadem shape fits it really well. So that's probably why they went with it. I don't know. Oh, we're on 20. 20 is a long one. What is lengthy? Let's find out. I think it's a comb. Let me show you to you before I open it up. It says Luna Lovegood on the side. And I think it opens like so. So probably not gonna work too well on a grown adult. Like you're not gonna see me putting that through my curls, but a little kid, I think for sure. Really cute and the idea that they, can we, there we go. The idea that they could just fold it up and bring it with them. How cute, so many cute things ever since I've been a, a little one um, have come out. Number 21 down here, oh yeah. I think this might be an eye mask. I mean, are the Spectra Specs giving it away? Other way, there we go. <laughs> we have ourselves a Spectra Spec eye mask. So there's the front of it. And here is the back and it's got like a little black strap. Um, yeah, maybe I keep this around just for any guests that come by. I have some eye masks, they're a little softer like um, then something like this. I'm not gonna put that on. No, we don't want to mess up the makeup. Okay. Where's 22? She's a skinny one. She's right here. Okay. Now I think we're in pen territory. We have a Luna pen that says exceptionally ordinary. It is blue like a Ravenclaw pen would be. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else to it and it turns on. It's black though. I go for black all the time, but I do feel like for a Ravenclaw, it probably should actually be blue. <laughs> but I like black, um, especially with pens. Number 23, we are almost done with my girl, Luna. Where is it? Ooh, it's a tiny one. Oh, I see what it is. <laughs> You're not hiding from me. 
we have what I believe is a Thestral, a Thestral bouncy ball. Yep, she bounces. Oh, whoopsie. Let's do number 19, we're going back in time. We, uh, we're not wearing the time turner, but um, we're going back to 19. I never know how to do things in order, do I? Ridiculous. We have Miss Luna Love Good, but she's giving shade right here. She's throwing the shade. Um, giving you the look. It's a lenticular pin, a button pin. So when you move it, it's more this way. Look at her smiling. And then she's, she's peeking over. And there's the back of it. So there's the one. We've been going out of order this whole time. Okay. The final day, day 24, appears to be some kind of fabric-y item. I think, my friends, we have a pair of socks. Ooh, I see what it says right there. Do you see what it says? Exceptionally ordinary, what's the rest of it? So that's the foot, and then it says a Luna at the top. Oh, I, I mean, I just am a sucker for Luna stuff, and it says it on both sides. So just in case you don't see it on one side of your ankle, it's on the other side, same for the foot. Except, you know, sometimes they, uh, they, they half took us it, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna be, uh, child-friendly in our language here. But they put it on both sides. I guess it's because it's on the side of your feet. And it's her kind of colors. So, let's go over any possible favorites. Well, I'm always a sucker for, um, just like with the first one we did. And I'm always a sucker for stationery, so I like the, um, eraser and the memo pad. I like the socks. I do like the pin. I don't do button pins very much. It's not really my jam too much. Um, but I like that she's just like pulling her glasses down almost. And I do think the ruler is really cute, even though, you know, it is a cheap item. You aren't gonna get super high quality items in these things. And I like a I like a highlighter. I will use that at the muggle job. And I just wish the these had texture to them and they would have been probably, even though it's not super original, um, it might have just made my top if it had that. So I would love to know in those comments, did this bring the Luna-esque-ness? What was your favorite item? And did you get this yourself? Let me know down below. But until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.